I'm diving back into the 100 scene studies challenge. A lot of you may have no idea what I'm talking about, but I started this at the beginning of the year to improve my art and gouache skills. And well, I took an unplanned several month break after burning myself out in February. This week I plan to do a scene each day, but some stuff came up that I'll talk about in a minute. The last video I made in this series made me realize I was going about this challenge in the wrong mindset. My intentions were to attempt to copy the scenes, and if it wasn't perfect, I'd beat myself up over it. Clearly, that was the root of my spiral and created some negative emotions that I've since attached to gouache. I've since shifted my mindset to focus more on enjoying the process again, which has been much more pleasant. I have quite a bit of anxiety when I use gouache now, but I can't let that stop me. I only got one scene done this week, I plan to do more next week. This scene is from Kiki's delivery service and it's when she receives a cake. Originally I was planning to paint a page in my sketchbook of Studio Ghibli Foods, but I realized that this could be a great way to ease back into my scene studies. After all, I have 87 left before the end of the year. This scene took three-ish hours to paint, and I had so much fun painting the mahogany table. I experimented with all kinds of techniques, such as dry brushing and glazing. I wish I had remembered the wet and wet technique, but it turned out regardless. I loved painting the doily, even though it was a bit stressful to figure out how to paint. And of course, the cake turned out good. There were a lot of mistakes, but throughout the whole process, I didn't let it bother me and had a lot of fun despite a new injury. That's right, I hurt myself again. I'm incredibly clumsy and often wonder how I've survived this long. After I sketched out my scene, I went downstairs to do the laundry and fell down the last two or three steps and sprained my ankle. It was bad, but I thought I had just rolled my ankle like I used to playing sports in school. In hindsight, that was dumb because when it happened, I was in so much pain I couldn't stand for at least 5-10 to 10 minutes. In spite of that injury, I still went to do laundry. I finished up an hour and a half later and didn't notice for another half hour that my ankle was the size of a softball. I was terrified. I'd never had an injury this bad, so I had to ask my boyfriend for help because he's had much worse injuries before from playing football. Then we had already planned a two-day trip to visit my family the following day. So once I took care of icing my foot, I painted the scene and was down for the count for the next four days. Which is why this video is a tad bit late. I wasn't going to upload this week, but I finally got momentum back in my work and I wasn't going to let anything stop me. I'm healing up the best I can and my ankle looks worse than it feels. The pain is pretty mild now, so I was ready to get back to it and just give you guys a shorter video to enjoy. Thank you so much for watching, like if you enjoyed, and subscribe to see when I finish the rest of these Studio Ghibli food scenes. Bye!